What do you think of when I say the word salty? I think of the ocean and maybe some people. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about transpiration in halo fights. Transpiration means sweating, right? So sweating in specific plants, which are called halo fights. Halo fights directly means halo means salt and fights means plants. So plants that survive in really salty conditions. Okay. Now, anytime that I think of salt now, I think of Sid in Ice Age, in that one scene where he ate the ocean, the ocean salt, and he pulled this funny, funny face. Now, let's give an example that you need to know about um, of a halo fight, okay? It's called a glass ward. Not the most beautiful name, but, you know, it's gotta be, it's, it's gotta be unfortunate. So, a glass ward looks like this, okay? And it survives in really, really salty conditions. So, what we're gonna do is going to see how it's able to survive in really salty conditions. So when we look, let's look at a little bit of the stem and the root. Okay, so we're zooming into the stem and the root, okay, because the root is important in its mechanism of survival, okay. So let me show you. So here we go. You can see here's the green stem. I'm not the most beautiful uh, artist, but this is, this is, this will do. Here is the stem, here is the root, and here is underground, okay. So what is special in normal cell in normal plants? What happens is the the soil is somewhat salty, not very salty, just somewhat. So we know that water follows um, solute concentration by osmosis. So if it's real, if the soil is really salty, then water will diffuse or leave the stem, I mean the root, into the soil to by osmosis down the concentration gradient of the solute. Okay, but in a normal plant. The soil is not that salty, so the plant can keep water quite easily. The water doesn't want to leave because this, the, this, it's equally salty inside compared to outside the root. Okay, so water is not lost um, so easily. Now the problem is, in really salty conditions such as the one this plant lives in, it is extremely salty outside. So you can imagine this represents salt, by the way. So it's really salty. So there's so much salt everywhere outside, outside the root. And this means that water wants to leave, okay? Because it wants to dilute out all the salt. And this means the plant will lose water, right? And that's bad because a plant needs water to survive. So how does this glass wort, what does it do to adapt to this very salty environment? Okay, this is what it does. It has a little, it has a little um, kind of channel or a pathway or a pump that what it does is it takes in all the uh, as much salt as possible okay so unlike a normal plant which doesn't really have so much of this um, a glass ward or a halo fight can pump in all the salt it takes it it pumps it in now what do you notice happening if i take in all this salt into the roots now the root is really salty compared to the outside okay so now if the root becomes really salty this means water wants to stay and not leave because the inside is more salty than the outside. In addition, water wants to come in to dilute all the salt inside the, in the inside the root. So by 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 being able to pump in all this saltiness from the extremely salty environment, it can ensure that water stays inside the root and that it has enough to survive. Now the problem is with so much salt, toxins, um, it becomes toxic. Salt is also toxic. So if it builds up too much inside the, the plant, it can also damage the plant. So it has another mechanism to ensure that it doesn't kill itself. So it has this other pump inside the, the not the root, because in the root it has a pump to bring it in, but it has this other kind of pump or channel in this in the stem or the leaves itself, okay? And what this pump does is it sends out um, some salt. So for example, the salt might leave now so that it doesn't build up too much and destroy the leaves and the, the rest of the plant itself. Okay, so that's pretty smart. So this is something that's unique about halo fights. In summary, they're able to use this the salty environment and pump in all the salt to ensure that water doesn't leave into the salty environment but rather stay inside the roots so that it can use the water for photosynthesis later and growth and survival. So that's it for Halo Fights. This is all you really got to know. Um, so I hope this made sense.